Well, hello there, folks, and welcome to the Bubble Round Tree Outdoors channel. I'm your host, Wade Rush. We have got a great show for you guys today. If you enjoy the reloading videos, you're going to really like this one here today. If you enjoy watching us shoot some really good performing buckshot reloads, you're going to love this video today. Uh, we're going to be covering what we're going to call this as the BRO Top 5 Performing Big Game Buckshot Reloads. That's right. This is the uh, top, and in my research of looking back over all the notes and all the years we've been doing this, we're going to post the top five performing buckshot, big game buckshot reloads. So there's no really any small shot, no uh, nothing smaller than, oh, I'm going to say number one buck in this. They're all for big game hogs, deer type stuff. The stuff that we put together that really performs well, no matter where you are, any distance, uh, it's, and even at extended ranges. Anyway, without any further ado, let's dive right into it. And folks, before we get rolling with this top five, I've also got to tell you about the choke that came in as our number one. We've tried countless chokes, and we've had all have been, all of the chokes we've tested were good performers. Some were very good but there was only one outstanding that would work with just about anything we put in it, especially with these new developed long range or extended range loads that we're talking about right here. And it was, drum roll, brrr, the Kicks Buck Kicker. The Kicks Buck Kicker kickered butt when it came to the performance of our buckshot chokes. The, um, if you were shooting, if you're shooting a factory type stacked buckshot that is not encased in a full length wad, then you're going to want the Kicks Extra Full. That was our best performer with factory buckshot, the Kicks Extra Full. While with our shot loads with the full length wad, the Kicks Standard Full. Basically, it's a uh, 700 constriction type choke, which is like an improved modified but it was our best performer. That's what we're going to be shooting all of these loads through down at the range. All five loads, heavy hitters, three inch magnums. Let's get to it. Number five. Okay, folks, number five is a twofer. Uh, we've had, I've got a couple of loads here that work just about equally well. A 16 pellet single alt, 31 cal single alt, as well as an 18 pellet, 30 cal, number one and this is how we put both rounds of the, our number five buckshot together alliant steel well i'll tell you what that has been a great discovery as of the last couple of years um, it has been a great powder for buckshot i've got so many different powders to measure out here folks i'm just using a uh, another little uh it's been a good little true weight digital scale. I'll get it out here in a minute. It is pouring rain and storming here, folks, and I hope the power don't get knocked out. Weather's been rough here the last few days. But I need 34 grains of Alliant steel. There we go. All right. And the cool thing about this round also is you don't have to round up once fired holes. We're using a three inch Chidite already primed upside down, bags upside down. I get them from ballistic products. I'll put you a little better picture up here, folks, where you can see it. Now I was using, I was shooting actually loaded and shot the green, what I had left of the green. These are the clear, identical, same hull. So it doesn't matter the color of the Chidite primed holes just doesn't matter and there's no sense in me putting together both rounds the pellets are stacked in here by twos so i'm gonna go ahead and put together a uh, 18 pellet number one and all you have to remember is to use the 16 pellets of uh of 31 cal single alt let's get it put together get my funnel here grab our 34 grains of steel
MG 42 wide. MG 42 wads from Ballistic Products. Boy, these have tested out good. They're, the reason they're not higher up on this list is because we just haven't had these but the last couple of years to use. MG 42 wad down on top of our 34 grains of steel powder. I just use a Sharpie pen, press down on top of it. I could use the press but I, I don't most of the time. Enamel coated, my enamel coated hard cast number ones, the nickel plated number ones from Ballistic Products work just as good. They work, we've tested them both. They work basically the same because they're basically the same. They've got their hard cast coated in nickel. My hard cast is coated in powder coat. I call it enamel coating. Uh, I guess you could call it that, but it's more of a powder coat. And 18 number ones by twos. And if you're using the 31 cal, it's 16 pellets by twos. And cover it with Ballistic Products Original. That's the buffer in the blue can. And that's why I like these clear hulls. Now, let's go to the range and show you how both of them perform at 60 meters or 65 plus yards. Well, looks like we got 14 of 18 in there at 60 meters. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six right there that I can cover with my hand right there at the center of the paper. And we have pellets top to bottom. Like I said, it's 26 inches here. We've done better and worse, but the, uh, the main thing is ease of loading and uh, convenience and overall performance the uh, the TPS wad that uh, that we like so much that we've done so well with Captain Buster thinks they're too tight he likes a little bit of room for error so we base that on that factor as well Like the other ones, 13.33. All right, this is the kind of pattern that Captain Buster loves right here. That's why he loves these 31 cal single alt. It's almost from one side of the paper to the other, 26 inches, and anything in here is dead, has been hit. We got a double hit up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 of 16, and it's from one side to the other. It's 26 inches across here, minus two, Minus two, 22 inches from here to the bottom. Probably 20 by 22 inches. All 12 of these pellets are in here. That's that's a double hit. That's a double hit. So it was 13 pellets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. We hit it with 13. That's a double hit right there. 13 of 16. That is a great pattern. Now, and at 65 yards. All right, let's go shoot number four. Okay, guys, the uh, our number four performing of our top five uses 26 grains of 800x. Now, I mean, this is by no means a hot load. 
it's pushing it 1150 to 1180 foot per second which is plenty fast enough even down to 100 meters to uh, to take an animal with this load but uh, we need 26 grains of 800x we're still using a brand new Shadite primed hull along with the MG 42 wide so let's see if we can get 26 grains of 800x measured out here in a little makeshift scale Wow, 800x is a lot denser than uh, than uh, steel powder is. And anybody can do this, folks. This is I've got a um 262. Just pull a couple of uh, grains out of it, just like that, and we're on 26. Let's get it put together. All right, get our 26 grains of 800x. We've used up to 28 and got good performance. The best, the tightest patterns were the lower velocities, 1150 to 1180, 1190, just under 1200 foot per second. We got our best groups with the 800x powder. So that's what I'm going to show you guys today. That's why it made the uh, number four in our top five list performance all right mg42 wide down on our 26 range of 800x and we're using 32 cal enamel coated uh, single log 14 pellets of 32 cal enamel coated Stack by twos. Two, four, fourteen. Boy, those red pellets show up good, don't they? And covered in Ballistic Products Original. Ready to crimp it. <laughs> that is a beautiful round. All right, let's go to the range and show you how this one did. Well, for one thing, the enamel coated sure seems to be holding a little bit tighter. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, or fourteen on the twenty-six inch circle, and top to bottom, fifteen inches, fourteen to fifteen inches, top to bottom, one inch, one inch. 24 inches across dead animal all of these would have been in a deer or a hog Eleven fifty-five. all right great day Rachel was right what a pattern that that pattern is, is only as wide as my hand, look, all the way down the page. And Rachel said we got all 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, all 14 at 65 plus yards or 60 meters. Very, very impressive. Very impressive. This is proven in the field, coming in at number 3. Okay, guys, uh, number three is a hammer dog, son. I mean, hammer of four. Uh, it is using 35 grains of steel powder. We are uh, using a once-fired Remington Nitro hull. I think Mr. Bill Cowass 
has some in stock. He may still have some. I'm going to post his email address. All you have to do is shoot him an email, tell him that you want some 3 inch magnum holes, and he will get back with you and tell you what he has available. Tell him that Wade from Bubble Round Tree Outdoors sent you, and he will hook you up with a heck of a deal, guys. All right, once fired, Remington Nitro hole. Get it decapped. I just make sure I get get it spread out. It's a habit. I don't even think I don't even know that I'm doing this. I've seen myself on camera. and I'm like, what the heck am I doing? I'm like, oh, I just I'm opening up that crimp as much as I can. All right, I got it. Set. there it is. I'm sitting back here in a tray. Chidite primer. Chidite primer in this once fired Remington Nitro hull. Ready to go. See what I use my buffer containers. I smaller, easier, instead of them great big old full five pound jugs of powder. Uh, I got them all stacked up under the bench right here. I put them in these other sealable containers. Like that when I run out of buffer, I put my powder in here because it's just easier for me to grab it whenever I need it. This time we need 35 grains of steel because uh, we are we are throwing 32 caliber. I wrote all over. I mean, you ought to see my handwriting. I can't half read it sometimes. Got too small of a uh, too small of a pad. The 14 pellets of enamel coated 32 cal, and this thing is throwing it between 13, 1400 foot per second. These things are zipping, buddy. And we need 35 grains. All right, 35 right on the head. Let's get it put together. Shadite Primer, once fired Remington Nitro 3 inch hull. 35 grains of Alliant Steel. MG42 Wad. Nice fit. 14 of my powder coated 32 cal single off. Now, regular ALOX or graphite treated pellets will work just fine. We just got nominally better performance consistently out of the enamel coated or the powder coated buckshot rounds. All right, 14 pellets right there to the top of the crimp. Cover it and BP original buffer. Whoa, baby. These Remington holes just load up beautiful, beautiful rounds. All right, I'm going to note it. We'll take you down there and show you how this one did. Well, there you go, guys. There's our best combination so far. Uh, that was the Remington Nitro hull with the 1432 cal. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 that I can cover with my hand right here in the center of the paper. And this is at 60 meters or just over 65 yards. That's impressive. All right, folks, we have worked our way down to number two. And number two is as old school as it gets around here as far as buckshot development goes. This goes all the way back to the beginning. Sometimes there's just, if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. But uh, this is a uh, once fired. 
This is once fired Remington Nitro hulls. I, I still happen to have a few of the original AA12 red wads laying around that I got from a guy. This, is, this was old new stock that I got years ago, and I've still got some of it laying around. But the Ballistic Products Clay Buster equivalent is identical to these and works just as well. We've used both, and I continue to use both. This old school round uses 34 grains of Alliant Blue Dot or 33 grains of IMR Blue Powder. They work equally well, almost almost the same velocities, but the patterns are outstanding using 14 pellets of 33 caliber double alt. And this is not this is not powder coat or anything else. This is just standard out of the Lee mold, 33 caliber double alt treated with alox and graphite. Let's get them put together. Well, like I said, once fired Remington Nitro holes, Winchester. 209 primers and we're using 34 of Alliant Blue Dot, 34 grains of Alliant Blue Dot and 33 grains of IMR Blue. There's no need in putting both of them together like that. The only difference is that uh, we're using 34 of Alliant Blue Dot and 33 of IMR Blue. They're virtually identical same volumes in the uh, in the hull. So like I said, I ain't been able to use the Hornady uh, lock and load for you guys because I got a different powder in it right now, and so I'm having to use a little backup scales. Winchester Western primer and our once fired Remington Express hole. All of these are three inch magnum. All right. Now let's, I had it. I pulled out, I had laid it out where I could find it. IMR Blue. We need 33 grains. I have been tickled with this stuff, guys. Performance is outstanding. Not good, not great, but outstanding. In some instances, it outperforms the, uh, the blue dot. In my experience. All right, let's see if we can get 33 grains here without too much of a problem. The uh if you happen to hear dogs growling and stuff like that, the, uh, Miss Joanne and Rachel have had to go to the grocery store and uh, and the dogs, I got a couple of dogs in heat. Oh, there we go. Right on the money. All right, let's get this thing put together. All right, 33 grains of IMR blue and or 34 grains of Alliant blue dot. We have used all the way down to 32 grains. 32 grains patterns about equally well as 34, but we get 1125, 1130, 1140 in that range with 32 grains. 33 grains works well with blue dot as well. That gets you up just around 1200, just under. The 34 grains, 1250 we're just up over usually we're just up over 1200 or around 1200 foot per second with 34 grains of blue dot and I like especially with these heavier pellets getting a little bit more velocity penetration power like I said mass plus velocity equals penetration power in these big game animals all right let's get this thing put together a uh, double a 12 red wad See, it goes way down in there, folks. Don't be concerned about that. And don't be concerned about overstacking the wad. That's part of the point. Um, what I have discovered is this with these on. Um, this is double alt, alox, graphite treated, out of the Lee mold. 
I've got them out of the sharpshooter mold as well. I've got another jug of that and they work equally well. Just today, this was the Lee that I happened to have open and up under the bench. So that's where I'm drawing my double alt buckshot from today. And overstacking the wide is part of the point stacked in here by twos. The eight or ten pellets that'll be in this wide, the other pellets will give you a little bit of spread going down range, but these in the wide will hold right down the center of the of the pattern of the uh, the uh, what they call the shot string. Well, the wide will open up, and then these eight or to ten pellets, as you'll see at, when we go to the range, will be right there on target right over the center of the bullseye and will be on target even down to 100 meters. 14 pellets stacked in here by twos. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, right to the top of the crown. And we cover it. As with all of these, cover it with Ballistic Products Original. Crimp it up. Not only is it an old school this is one of the first rounds I developed. Is it an old school, beautiful round? But watch how these things perform, especially out of my old 870. Heat it up. 1189. The IMR blue is consistently, is consistently faster every shot. I like that hit too. That felt well, good. Well, it, it seems like the faster one has been, some instances it's a little tighter, some instances it's a little wider. That, you know? one, that one felt good. Okay, the IMR Blue looks to me like it was actually a little bit tighter. It was definitely faster. All right, the furthest pellet, 17 inches on that one. 17 inches, and let's see what we got here. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 on paper unless I missed a double hit. That looks awesome. Oh, yeah, Let's that's check. two pellets is, right there. Is it? Yeah, see. Oh, yes going. it is. It sure is. I missed a double hit. All 14 again. Okay. You don't get any more old school than this right here. No. It's 14 pellet, 33 caliber, double all, stacked in by twos. Over 34 grains of blue dot powder with a double A12 red wad and Ballistic Products original buffer shooting out of the old 870 28 inch barrel and the kicks standard full choke the kicks buck kicker standard full choke and the target come down That's something for 60 meters, ain't it, guys? One, two, three, four. Got a double hit right here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, all fourteen on the paper there at 60 meters. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that I can cover with my closed hand right over the bullseye at 60 meters, 65 yards. Okay, folks. Here we are, we have arrived at our number one performing reload. Well, now, in my opinion, this is my best performing because I like a tight pattern. Captain Buster really don't care for the really tight patterning reloads. He likes a little more room for error, but I like the tight patterning buckshot reloads because it doesn't seem like I can ever get a shot inside of 50 yards whenever I get a shot. So I like that stuff that'll reach out there and touch them. Well, this, this time, this is the first one you're going to see that this is uh, the, the TPS wide. This is the 3-inch Ballistic Products TPS series of wide. 
and we are using a once fired once fired Remington Nitro using a uh, Winchester Western Winchester Western 209 primer once fired Remington Nitro hull we've gotten pretty good performance out of the new Chidite as well with this load folks but not as consistently tight of patterns that I'm going to show you that we're getting at the range using the once fired Remington Nitro hulls they just perform a little better nominally better so that's why it made number one you can use the brand new Chidite you can use the brand new Rio you can use the brand new Fiocchi we have shot this load and all of the above that I just mentioned and they perform well but this is our best performer for us it has been the once fired Remington Nitro hull let's get it primed Winchester 209 primer and my my Lee drum measure right here is set up for 29 and a half grains of Hodgden long shot Hodgden long shot 29 and a half grains Hodgden long shot Twenty nine and a half grains, Hodgson long shot. Ballistic products, TPS series, three inch wad. Now, this is very important. I have some Al old Alcan 20 gauge nitro cards here. They're quarter inch. I break them in two by hand to make eighth inch. I just you can just stick your they're paper, you just stick your fingernail on them right here and tear them apart. And then you got two eighth inch nitro cards. And before I get this pushed all the way down in here, I start it in the wad with my hand. This is a very important step, folks. I use a old marker because it's flat like a dowel half inch dowel work a uh, wooden dowel work just as good probably work better if you could put your little handle on it like light you see down that we got this pressed down in the bottom of this wide the bottom of the TPS wide is concave so we put this the nitro card in there to make it flat I have had uh, especially with the number one the heavier loads a pellet will have a tendency one single pellet will go down in that little on that little concave part of that wad right in the center and all the other pellets get on top of it that one pellet will blow this seal out 20 percent of the time one in five shots will blow the seal out if that single pellet sits right down in the center of this TPS wad when using the nitro card not once ever have we had a seal blow out and we have shot hundreds and hundreds of them all right 14 32 cal enamel coated sing along 14 32 cal enamel coated sing along 16 31 cal enamel coated sing along work equally well I'm not going to show you both of them at this time just no need 2 4 6 8 10, 12, <laughs> I grabbed 13, 14, and just like all the other ones, we're covering it in Ballistic Products Original Buffer. If you watched my reloading videos and and of course us testing them at the range here in the past, you have seen how well this TPS wide does with both 16 and uh, pellets of 31 cal, 18 pellets of number one, 14 pellets of 32 cal. You can use in this load. The pellet weight is virtually identical, 1.6 
to 1.6817. 1 1.6 to 1 1.7 is the payload weight. 14, 16, 18. 14 pellets of 32 cal, 16 pellets of 31 cal, 18 pellets of number ones stacked by twos. In this TPS wide, over 29 and a half grains of long shot powder, Remington once fired hull, Winchester Western primer. Let's take you to the range and show you how the 14 pellet did at 65 plus yards. I don't care who you are guys, that's impressive, ain't it? 60 meters. You got a couple of flyers, but now you gotta remember this this is 26 inches across this cardboard here. Let's see what we actually do have here. You can see why we're taking deer out to 100 meters and beyond with this load. One, let's see, we got one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's a double hit. So we had fourteen in there, unless we got another double hit that I didn't see. Yeah, that's two pellets. That's two pellets right there. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 or 14 at 60 meters or 65 plus yards. And we've got right here in the middle of the paper 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I think that's right. 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 that I can cover with my hand. Dead center of the paper. These are all on target down to 100 meters. Well, how about that, boys and girls? Years of research, thousands of rounds fired, and it comes down to a top five. Top five. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a long time coming. I'm glad I finally got this thing together. I've been working on this. This video has been in the mix for over a year. Uh, so, finally got it all done, folks. Hope you all enjoyed it. My Lord, at the time of this taping right now, it's two weeks from bow season opening here for season 2018 here in South Carolina. Wow, in the Midlands here in South Carolina. And September 1st, a month from now, gun season opens. So it'll be time to start slinging that buckshot. All right, guys, this is Wade, host of the BRO channel. We'll be back with another one very, very soon. Bye-bye. And if anyone out there would like to help support this channel, get on over to www.patreon.com slash Bubba Roundtree Outdoors and you can sign up for as little as $1 a month or as much as you would like. All of it helps this channel a bunch, folks. Thanks a heap.